Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Python project which is entitled as Enhancing Digital Image Forgery Detection Using Transfer Learning which is an IEEE 2023 journal paper. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So nowadays, everyone has a mobile or camera so that they can take more pictures and they share it in uh, social medias. But all the images are not authentic. So there are many forged images also. Forged means that is tampered. They have modified the images of the original image. So finding the digital forgery detection is the main objective of our paper. So in this base paper, the authors have used mobile net v2 architecture for the deep learning model and uh, kindly note that we are not going to implement the same as mentioned in the base paper so now let us see about the proposed system so we are going to use the cnn model architecture so our proposed algorithm or model is cnn model architecture and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 98 percentage and validation accuracy of 92% so now let us see about the proposed system so here you can see the IEEE base paper title that is enhancing digital image for the direction using transfer learning or you, you can use the proposed title that is in digital image for the direction using deep learning so this is the IEEE base paper abstract so now let us see about the proposed abstract so we are in the day uh, in our proposed system as mentioned we are going to use the cnn model architecture and additionally we have uh, incorporated another methodology called ela so the ela is the error level analysis so this is the like a pre-processing step where the images will be standardized into 256 into 256 resolution and after that ela will be applied for each image so in this ela we will be identifying based on the compression level we will be identifying whether it is a tampered or a original image so here you can see that uh, the the proposed abstract we have used a data set which contains 12,615 images where 7,492 contain authentic real images and 5,123 contain tampered that is a fake images so this is the data set that we are going to train up the system I'll show you the data set part also so in the source code folder in the model folder we have the data set so here you can see AU and TP folder so here you can see the authentic this is all these are all the real images which has about 7492 so these are the images that we are going to train up the system so you can scroll down and you can see the complete images and uh, the other classes tampered so that these are the images that is available in the tampered which contains 5000 123 images so you can just scroll down and you can check the complete images sir. so this is about the data set part so this is the proposed abstract that is mentioned about it and here you can see uh, about the existing system so as we are considered the base paper as existing so we are taking that about the existing system they have used mobile net v2 architecture so this is about mentioned about the mobile net v architecture and here you can see the disadvantage of the existing system and uh, you can see about the proposed system where we have incorporated the cn and ela methodology so these details are being mentioned in the proposed system and here you can see the advantage of the proposed system and next coming to the system architecture so we have used the CACR2 image data set and pre-processing feature selection is made and CNN model architecture has been applied and printed result is, is been finding whether it is an authentic or real images or tampered fake images and performance analysis and graph part we will be seeing. So these are the system and hardware and software requirements and as mentioned we have developed this project using Python and the version that we have used is Python 3.10.9 and the web framework is Flask and front end part using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and this is the reference of the project. Before execution, make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of the Python on the library is installed in your system. So now let us see the execution of the project. So first go to the source code location, copy the source code location. Now go to your command prompt. 
Now first go to the drive location where you have pasted the code. I have pasted the code in the F drive, so I'll go to the F drive now. So now let me go to the source code location. So type CD and use space and paste the location that we have copied and click enter. So now we are into the source code location. Now type Python app dot py and click enter and kindly wait for few seconds. So now you can see this URL, just copy this URL, go to any of your browser, I'm going to Google Chrome, let me paste that URL that we have copied and click enter. So now you can see the home screen and it comes to the project with the project title, digital image for the detection using deep learning. So first let me click this login menu, just click this login menu, it will be navigated to the login page. So kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project. So just enter the default username and password as admin, admin and then click this login button. So now you can see the login success message and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the upload part where you can upload the image that you wanted to check or predict the, the case of it. So now let me select the choose file image and if you go to the tab project folder you have a folder called upload where you can check the test cases images that we have given or you can also check with the data set image that we have trained up i will show you both the cases so first let me go to the upload folder let me go let me select an image from tampered uh, part and this is the image i selected and let me click the submit button and now you can see the printed result is tampered or fake so this has been shown with the preview of the image that we have selected so now if you wanted to check another uh, uh, case just click this preview menu again so now let me go into the other case and let me select an image and this is the image i have selected let me click the submit and now you can see the pictured result is authentic this is a real image this is not a forged image so let me click the preview menu so as i said to you you can also check with the data set images that we are trained up with so let me go to the model folder in the data set folder so there are various uh, images that is available so now let me select an image this is the image i have selected and click submit <coughs> and now you can see the printed result is authentic so this is the image that i have selected is authentic image so now let me go to the preview part again let me now this time i'll go to the other case in the, the trained data set and let me select an image So there are various images that is available here. So now let me select this image and you can preview the image and click submit. And now you can see the pictured result is tampered or fake image. So now let me go into the authentic part and let me select an image. click submit and now you can see the pictured result is authentic or real so here in this way you can check with the all the images that is available in the test folder or in the data set part that we have trained up with so if i'm going to check with all the images it takes more time so you can check with other cases and here uh, here comes another question that what happens if you're going to give an image that is uh, that, uh, that is not available in the trained folder for example if you're giving a face image or some other image which is not trained up in the system so it gives a random result only it is it does not uh, because it is not in the trained data set so in case if you are giving some uh, some other images uh, which is not relevant to the project it gives some uh, random results only whether it is authentic or real so now let me move to the next part it is the performance analysis part so just click this performance analysis menu so now you can see the performance analysis parameters accuracy precision recall and f -fusher value so accuracy value is uh, 0.92 precision value 0.89 recall is 0.92 f measure value 0.92 and here you can see the confusion matrix so the confusion matrix contains the true and printed label of the both the cases authentic and the 
fake part and uh, this is about the performance analysis part and final part is the chart part so just click this chart menu it will be navigated to the chart part and kindly note that there are two charts available in it and both the charts are static chart only as mentioned earlier we are not going to use any database in the project so it's not going to show any dynamic chart so it is going to show the chart that has been depicted from the backend model that we have developed so here this chart contains model loss first chart is about model loss graph so this depicts about the loss and the epoch that we have trained up the model and second loss contains the model accuracy graph which contains the accuracy and the epochs that we have trained up the model and these are the two graphs that is available model, model loss and model accuracy graph and now let me log out and this is all about the project digital image for detection using deep learning and thank you for watching